Hey guys, my name is Margaret Odette and I am coming to you from my fire escape here in Harlem, New York City. And I'm so excited to be participating in the Public Theater's Brave New Shakespeare Challenge. I first started my relationship with the Public Theater as an audience member, checking out their shows at their free Shakespeare in the Park in the Delaware Theater uh, as a teenager. And I've since interned at the Public and most recently, I had the honor of portraying Hero in an all-black production of Much Ado About Nothing that they did at the Delacorte last summer. So I'm really excited to be exploring the winter's tale with you guys today through a piece, um, a Hermione piece from Act 3, Scene 2. Now, I have never played Hermione in a full production. I have done production of the winter's tale in undergrad in excuse me in grad school at NYU uh, and in that production I played the old shepherd as a 75 year old Australian man and I was time which is a genderless character so I'm really excited to be exploring Hermione she is one of my favorite women in Shakespeare's canon and this piece particularly resonates with me because in the face of such adversity that she's getting from her husband and the court at large, she stays true to herself and she stays true to her conviction and her values. And she speaks truth to power. And I think that is so incredibly inspiring and um, emboldening and really important to remember to do in times like we're experiencing now, where so much social unrest is being expressed because of so much overwhelming in injustice that exists in our society, and uh, reminding ourselves that we have the power to speak truth against those injustices and stay true to what we know to be righteous and valuable. So, with that, Ms. Blake. So spare your threats. The bug that you would frighten me with, I seek. To me can life be no commodity. The crown and comfort of my life, your favor? I took it lost, for I do feel it gone, but know not how it went. My second joy and first fruits of my body. From his presence I am barred like one infectious. My third comfort. Start most unluckily is from my breast. The innocent milk in its most innocent mouth hailed out to murder. Myself on every post proclaimed a strumpet. With immodest hatred, the childbed privilege denied, which longs to women of all fashion. Lastly, hurried here to this place, if open air, before I have got strength of limit. Now, my leech. Tell me, what blessings I have here alive that I should fear to die. Therefore proceed, but yet hear this. Mistake me not, no life. I prize it not a straw, but for mine honor, which I would free if I shall be condemned upon surmises. All grow sleeping else, but what your jealousies awake, I tell you tis rigor and not law. Your honor's all. I do refer me to the oracle. Apollo be my judge. And there we have it. And now I bring the challenge to you. Get out there, express yourself through this language, either in song or dance, a movement piece, um, or your own piece of writing that is inspired and in conversation with this one. However you choose to do it, remember to stay safe, stay brave, stay engaged, 